Welcome to Leaders Path, a leadership and recruitment blog delivering wide-ranging content that will help you be a great leader. Brought to you by Middleton's Assure Talent, management and leadership recruitment specialists. Hi there, it's Nick Middleton here from Middleton's Assured Talent, experts in IT and business change recruitment. Um, so you might have in the summer seen something appear on Google relating to jobs, um, something called Google for Jobs. Um, this is a very quick video that's going to show you how to use Google for Jobs. It's very simple, um, but I thought I'd just run through that process very quickly. Um, so where you start is in the, the search box of Google, uh, and you put in what job you're looking for. Uh, so program manager, and either you write jobs or perhaps you write the location. Either way, it will bring up um, the Google for Jobs interface. So you'll see initially in the search results a few sponsored adverts, but then you'll see this blue box here. This is where you want to click, and this is how you get into Google for Jobs. Very simply, um, Google gives you a number of different options to filter those jobs. So title, so it's giving you different options of job titles that might relate to what you're looking for. Location, so you can search different uh, um, radius locations from where you are or where the location you've stated. So if you write program manager jobs and don't put a location, what Google does is it looks at the location the computer is in and then does a radius um, search from that specific location. Or, as I have done here, I've written in a specific location. Um, it might then bring up other locations to do a search from. Um, you can search it based on how recently the job was posted. Um, you can search on the type of job, so whether it's contract or permanent. Um, company type, so this is a bit more about the sector. And it will bring up some specific employers and agencies that are advertising in that space. There's lots of different ways you can filter it. You can also add more into the search, and you can either write that in a free text way or you can write it in a, in a Boolean way just to, to um, uh, narrow down the search for the specific thing you're looking for. So what you're going to see is um, then a range of results appear down this side here. Um, what you can quickly see is that actually these jobs have been pulled from a number of the major job boards. So there was total jobs, there's read. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, another total job, LinkedIn, um, CV library. Um, I know they do job serve, job site, monster, all the pretty much all the major job boards are now signing up to allow Google to scrape jobs from their website because they see it as a massive opportunity to drive traffic to their to their adverts. The one big one that's missing is indeed. Um, I guess this is fairly um, similar to the the Indeed aggregator that they've been using for about 10 years and, and Indeed have decided they're not going to let Google um, uh, take their job adverts. I, I guess it is because they see them as, as such a threat from a competition point of view. But you're, you're fairly confident you're covering most of the market because, as I say, it does pull them from a number. The other thing that um, that's happening is uh, uh, companies themselves can put a piece of code in their job um, pages and and that points Google at them to then scrape those jobs directly from their uh, from their own abs advertisements on their own website. So as I say, you get a list of jobs down here, and then if we click on one, I'll show you what uh, happens when you go in. I'm just trying to find one that's in the, with an end client. So this one's with Capita rather than with an agency, and you'll see why in a second. Um, so as you would expect, you see an overview of the role just written the same way as you'd see in any other the um, uh, job boards. But what this does is it actually gives you a sense of what the typical pay is for this type of job. So Glassdoor thinks that this job's paying in that sort of bracket. LinkedIn thinks it's paying in that sort of bracket. So you can compare the salary and offer with what the market rate looks to be. Now, the other th clever thing it does, um, if that company is listed on Glassdoor, it gives you a rating. Um, now, the, the, the challenge with this is most of these jobs will be advertised by recruitment companies. So the Glassdoor rating that will come up will be for that recruiter rather than the end client. So just to be aware, aware of that. And then the other thing it does is it pulls things like company website. Um, you can run a search to see if there's anything else in, you know, about that company just through a normal Google search. Um, and then the other thing, which I suppose is the big one, is you can then click one of these buttons and go directly and apply for the job on whichever job board it is that you see listed here. Now, when you see multiple ones, perhaps you're you know you're you're kind of driven to 
clicking a particular one by, all right, I've got all my details we'll read already. I have an account and so that makes more sense to do it through that one. But it doesn't really matter. It shouldn't matter. The other thing you can do, there's a little tab here and if it's not saved, it will be clear like that. And if you want to save the job, you just press it. And what it happens then, if you see at the top here, you get jobs, saved and alerts in that save folder that job will appear until it's either removed as an advert or you click that and it comes off. And then the other thing you can do is click the share button and you can share through the likes of Facebook, Twitter, email, and there's also a URL that you can copy and paste. So really, really easy to find jobs, to you know look at them in detail with that additional layer of detail you might get from Glassdoor and the salary detail. So really effective tool. The other thing you can do with your search is you can turn alerts on. So you can click this bottom down at the button down at the bottom here. And if you click that and say understand, so it's going to say it's going to send daily to my email address. And what it'll do is it'll send me an overview of the jobs that come up like this search, new jobs um, every day. So again, you can set up searches. I think you can set up as many as you want. And then Google will do all the work for you in the background. So it's a really easy to use, simple tool that's scraping most of the jobs in the marketplace into one place and allowing you to, to search with the power of Google. You know, we know that very, very few other mechanisms will do as good a search or as accurate a search as Google will. And, and you know, we know because it's such a prominent uh, website uh, and and search engine that you know most job boards are going to sign up to to working with them. So what does that mean for recruitment? Um, I mean I think it's interesting. I think we will see you know certainly there's there'll be a greater confidence in some employers to do more direct advertising because they know Google will, will steer more candidates directly to them. Um, so I, I think we'll see an uplift there. Um, but I think for all parties involved in recruitment, you know, both recruiters and the end employer, um, you know, hopefully we just see a better rate of more accurate and suitable job applications um, because the, the job seeker has a better tool of seeking out the, the, the ideal positions for them. So as I say, I think it's, a, I think it's, a, it's an interesting and very um, uh, capable tool that, that hopefully will help you find a great job. Thanks for watching. For more great content like this, follow us on YouTube.